First time. No. No, I have. I, I thought they have no idea about football, but that's different. You did know that. We talked about it in the States years ago. That's again my filter. I really forget negative things. That's cool. You follow your dad, though, don't you? Sorry. You follow your dad. My dad taught me to football. No. You don't. No, you don't. It's not an excuse. Okay, guys, you all good? Right, we'll kick off with Vinny, then we'll go to Sam for PLPG at BBC. We've got Julia also from BBC Men's Side, and I'll just look around, we'll then go to a breakout. Um, but we'll kick off first of all. Jürgen, obviously, you can go back to the top of the table on Saturday. <laughs> Spurs are chasing Champions League qualification, so what does all that say about the test that you're facing this weekend? Massive, massive test, definitely. I think, you know, so if I would not would watch from outside on it, I would say, OK, that's, yeah, that would be difficult, yeah, for, for Liverpool. And I don't even have to look from the outside because I'm inside and know, yes, that will be difficult. Because um, of the situation, they, they all teams fight for, for everything, but obviously Tottenham has a massive quality. Um, they are not, especially away from home, um, they are now not too much bothered about having the ball all the time, stuff like this. They defend compact uh, and these kind of things. And then obviously some of the best counter-attacking players in the world. That's definitely the, the truth as well. So we, we need to find solutions for that. Um, and that's what we tried. Um, and then give it a go. So anyway, so like it's, it, that it's difficult, we know since we started um, long, long ago. And um, now this one is difficult as well, but I'm still looking forward to it. Obviously, we will look at it in the context of the title race as well and see it as a chance again to put pressure on Manchester City. Do you view their Champions League exit though, as one that could have an adverse effect on their league form or is the likelihood that it makes them even more focused, even more determined not to let the Premier League slip? With all the things we know about City, I would rather um, think the second. That's how it is because um, it's now... They are too good, and, um, and 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 these kind of things. Yes, it was massive, massive blow. I, I think everybody was like ready to switch the television off, like um, nearly, and then all of a sudden, um, part two started, um, and that was really harsh. I can imagine, but um, so I cannot see them. Um, so yes, the night I had nights like this. It's not cool. Next morning, it's not enjoyable. Um, but there's a moment when you then realise, OK, we cannot change that anymore, but now we have to focus on that, and that's Newcastle on Sunday, and they will be ready. I will ask you just briefly about facing Real Madrid in the Champions League final, because Mo posted on social media that we have a score to settle after it was confirmed that you will face Real Madrid. He went as far as saying revenge at the Football Writers Awards as well. How do you feel about facing Real Madrid again after what happened in 2018? When we lost that final, actually, my my favorite solution would have been let's play the final again next year, and it's against Real Madrid. To be honest, that was in that moment. So, but um, we faced Tottenham, which was absolutely fine in Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Madrid seems to be our destiny, um, and as we find, they with all with all what, what it was strange and unlucky for City, but what Madrid did um, is outstanding. Eh? So, uh, they got through against PSG, against Chelsea, and against City. If you, if you, we said it before, we, when we play VRL, if you um, knock out Juve and, and Bayern, yeah, you deserve to be in the semi-final. I said, if you knock out these three guys, then you deserve definitely to be in the final. They are now the massive favourites, all the experience uh, they have and all this kind of thing. So we are more experienced than we were, probably, but it's obviously not to compare. A lot of players are still in. Um, for them, for us, which is good sign as well, obviously. Um, yeah, it will be great. So um, that we were not happy that night, that's clear. Um, but that's a while ago. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to to go there and give it a try. To be honest. So and um, but until then a lot of games to play and you will ask so many questions about Real Madrid between now and then so um, I think we can stop here um, but uh, what Carlo did there obviously is absolutely um, incredible and um, anyway if you go to a final I think it's good to have the idea that you want to win it and that's what we will 
work on in the week between the 22nd and the 28th, so not before. Simon, I'll come back to Spurs then. If Thank you. Okay, I know you've touched upon it there, but a lot of people are seeing this as maybe your biggest threat, the biggest potential banana slip off the bat. So what do you see as their main challenge to you this weekend? Quality of the opponent which is the main. Um, I actually think the the, the 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 challenge we faced in the last few weeks playing at Newcastle uh, was now not an easy task, um, and especially three days after we played Villarreal and these kind of the between two Villarreal games, really it was really not easy. So um, this time we have a day longer to prepare, which is now which feels like a week holiday to be honest. Um, it's, it's unbelievable. It gives us the chance to prepare properly and not in a rush. Um, but it's only one time the case because then we play already Aston Villa um, on Tuesday night, um, so that's um, that's clear. But um, no, the, the, the main challenge is the quality of the opponent. Yeah? So um, and when you think about how um, Tottenham wins the games, um, of course they have a brilliant football team, but the way they set it up with the five um, and then the. Um, I want to see it offensively or defensively with the four and the one or with the two and the three. Um, and all up front, speed like crazy, Harry Kane, what a player. Um, and obviously fits in that idea extremely well. Um, there's a blind understanding between them and um, these kind of things. So I say it is probably the biggest challenge for protection we face for a long time. Because each mistake you make there, you have to be have to win a football game. You have to create. You have to, to 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 be high up the pitch. That's why you score the goals. The moment you lose it, you should be immediately around all of them immediately, and that's difficult. So we have to. That's just football. Uh, we have to find a way um, to keep them calm as often as possible, because it will not be possible all the time. Um, I don't know. It's a long, been a long season. How are they both in, I suppose, body and in mind? And Roberto, and I've travelled with you. Is he, is he ready to be involved this weekend? I don't know, but he's ready. He's back in training. So now we have to make a decision about that. So it's like the the, the food thing didn't let him do a lot. We had to let it settle, and that's then now we have to make sure that he has a, um, a, a few proper sessions. Obviously, we have enough games. Um, still, so it's very important. We have to make sure that we get him in the best possible shape, and it might. I, didn't make a decision, but it might be possible that he makes for him more sense just to to train through the weekend and be then a, a, a big step um, closer um, for Tuesday, for example. But um, let's see. Yesterday was in training, was great. Um, day before, when did we train? First time after Tuesday, we trained Wednesday. No, when, no Wednesday we didn't. We trained there. Yesterday was Thursday. Yeah, trained yesterday. So oh, sorry. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Yes, don't have my smartphone here, but um, because I get, get messages pretty late. But um, when I watched it last time, yes. Thank you, Julia. Um, yeah, going transfer in a week about um, with the run that you're having at the end of the season, how how quick all these games are coming up. But you say when you get close to what the team wants to to achieve or be successful in, you know, you get those memories of what it felt like having won in situations before. I was just wondering how is it easy to emotionally detach yourself from that when you, you, you're getting closer and closer and obviously more um, success could well be on the way to achieving and switching off from those, those times? Look, I think the, in the end it's all emotions and it's all fine. And we, we, we obviously most, even when we are a lot together, we still are a lot alone with the things. Um, upstairs, and um, so, it, but it can lead to the first half against Villarreal, and it can lead to the second half against Villarreal. So, what is it? So, um, it is we are, we were in similar situations, never before in the same situation. Um, the only thing, and that's why it makes it so easy for us to, as, as at least as I understand it, for us to prepare or be prepared for it, because we never change. We just prepare the next game. So with a lot of good experiences and 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 um, and results, you know, like, you know, what is that? Now back, um, and that's it. And this time it's Tottenham. So and everybody, that, that that's it. So we don't 
think too much, but it's it's more a feeling that we know that we get closer. And end of May, if you look at what is today, it's the sixth or so. So in 22 days, 23 days, we know everything. Oh, between now and then, a lot of games, um, and we can't play them all together, but we can then play one after the other, and that's what we do. And it's now it's Tottenham. Yes, the feeling is good, but. We still are able to play a half, like a first half against Villarreal. We felt brilliant before the game and played really bad. So let's make sure um, that we play good. Julia from Merseyside, then we've got to Carl Markham. Hi. Uh, following on from that, what challenge is it for you and your coaching staff right now? With, you've done three competitions, a couple of games a week, all the travelling. I just wondered about you don't get much time on the training pitch or as much time to look at the opposition. I presume it's longer hours for you at the moment, working hours. But what kind of challenge or new challenges is that for you personally and the coaching staff? It's actually like it always was, just for a longer period in the season. So usually in this moment in time, you have no. Um, we play already like Saturday, 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 because maybe you're not in, the, in that final or that final. Um, that means we, we, we never can really train. Uh, we spoke about that quite frequently here. Nobody gives us time to train. Um, we recover, have a minus one session, and go from there. Today is the only session we have, real, real session. Um, analyze never changed. That's exactly the same amount of games we watch or minutes we invest in that. That never changed yet. That keeps you obviously busy, but that's uh, that we cannot prepare the next game less good just because we have a lot of games that will never happen. Um, and that's why that's why it's busy, clear. Um, and but it's the best reason to be busy. Um, I can imagine, to be honest. So it's it's, it's uh, things we, we we love to do. And what Julia said now, but it was like it's more it's really more underneath that you really feel don't feel the intensity that much. So it's like you just go for it. It's, it's because you know it's final here, final there. Everybody is asking for Champions League tickets. Everybody's asking for FA Cup tickets. It's like a mess, and we, we don't even know if we get any. So ourselves and all these kind of things. So I will probably be in the stadium, but um, around us, you want to book a hotel in Paris, and you think, oh my God, we obviously should finance the French. Um, for the next, I don't know how many years. So um, and all these kind of things. So it's all around, but it's the best reason to to be busy, and that's what we. Um, but never will drop is the preparation um, for the game. So not on the training pitch, we, we get used to it. But in the in the meetings, boys need all the necessary information, not too much, but the necessary ones, and that's what we try. Yeah, we've got to Carl and Neil to finish, and we've got to the breakout thing. Carl at the back of the room. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah, I believe in impact, clear, because um, I think each squad in the world can, is, um, there's enough space in each squad in the world for a, for a world-class player, and that's what Louis is. Um, that's why we were so, so desperate to get him, and that's why we were so, so, so happy that we could have um, uh, got him, and that makes all the difference. So if, if you watch um, whatever, we go through our games in the Champions League, playing the Champions League. When we played Porto, he was still there. So, um, so it's really strange, it's a really strange situation. Now it goes with us to the final, which is absolutely outstanding. You could see how what it means to him. Um, yes, having a, involving a, a, an outstanding player is good for each squad. It was good for us, definitely. Not only because we had the African Cup when the boys, the boys were not here, but because of that as well. So. Um, yeah, really. Thank God we we made that we made that decision because it helped everywhere. And he is um, so it's it's so much up to him more more than it was to other players maybe because he is he communicates really with everybody without really speaking the language. Okay, we have the Spanish fraction. That's no problem. That they are really close. They helped him so much. Thiago, Fab, Ali, all this, Bobby, all these kind of guys a, a lot. Adrian is great in this in this aspect. Um, but he's, he's really close with Curtis. He's really close with Harvey. I have no idea how they talk, uh, to be honest. Um, but it's no, he's really he's really close. It's just on an emotional basis they are like this. And they were after a week. 
And that's really strange, but it's up to him. Okay. So we've got a couple more cards. We've got Neil, and then we've got our uh, visitors from Dazon in Japan, and then we go to the breakout. Yes, Neil. Hi. Hi. I saw you in the Real Madrid going back out and tap on the fans that were in, in the away end. Obviously, it was not great weather over in Spain. Just wonder this time of year. Obviously, that they're going through oh. so much money, so much. Oh. Uh, oh. Energy, how much inspiration that gives you? Oh. It's so touching, I can't believe. I, honestly, it was. I thought the only difference in, in Villarreal was the, warm, the rain was warm, but that was the only difference. The sky was grey and all these kind of things. We left here with the weather, weather, then we arrived to Villarreal. There was a moment when we got really angry, all of us. I thought, what is that? Um, um, but that's great. And now when you see uh, yeah, the ticket prices and all this kind of stuff, the amount of tickets you get only for the... Um, I, I'm not sure. Did I read? Is it right that the f we get only twenty thousand? They get twenty thousand, seventy-five thousand in. Yeah. That makes thirty-five thousand. What? Where are these tickets? So, um, but these tickets are really expensive. I, 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 could, I, I cannot be more appreciative. I cannot be more thankful for what the people are doing. But uh, unbelievable. I know it's, um, it's massive, what what they um, are asked for. Um, and that's if you want the, on, the only bad thing about the journey we're in to us. I really hope they all can make it somehow um, and um, and can create there. Of course, they will um, create an incredible atmosphere. It's nice. So if you don't get a ticket, um, so don't want to invite now people to Paris, but this time it's big enough. And I did last time for Basel and a whole Switzerland was like this. Um, but I think Paris is big enough that we can go there um, without a ticket and, and have a good time. Behave yourself, but be in the best possible mood. Um, so these kind of things, it's a great thing. And if you cannot go there, then watch it here. Um, in any kind of surrounding, it will be absolutely fantastic. But this, what I love about this game is really the world will be red or white, but everybody will be either or. So and that's 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 really cool, and it makes it a, a, a proper final, obviously. And um, yeah, but it's difficult to get there and. Whoever followed us all the time or only one time, yeah, I can only say thank you very much. Um, it's you made it really special. That's that's how it is. Because wherever we were, they made it our ground. People, the boys won all away games um, in, in 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 this campaign, which is absolutely incredible. Yeah, because we had so much support wherever we were. Thanks. Final question then from uh, the Zone to Japan. So we go to the uh, so we go to the break. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Wow. Can you believe? I was now a little bit. I, I was thinking, um, but again, what three things about becoming a football manager, or what you need to be a football manager, or what was it? Qualities, I guess. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh. Never thought about it really. Sorry. So, that's the wrong start. If you want to become a football manager, you have to watch football like crazy. The rest you will realize later. So just watch football, coach teams, start wherever you are, which level, U15, U16, U10s, go out on a pitch and do exactly that. And don't, yeah, the dreams come later. First you have to work. Second question. First and foremost, um, congratulations. Both are fantastic um, um, representatives, whatever, of Japan, um, either in, with Shinji for me in Dortmund or, or Taki here. Fantastic boys, 
fantastic footballers, and it's one of the hardest things I have to do in the moment. When Take is not involved, it's really hard because the last thing he deserves is not being involved. He trains incredible. Just that the team, and since Taki came here, improved a lot. I, I like a lot the steps he made and all these kind of things. How he deals with the setbacks is insane, um, because the setbacks with not being involved um, from time to time, and it's really hard because um, he never gives up. He always stays positive. He always goes for everything, and um, he's a big part of our of the story of this team this year and last year. So um, no, you should be really proud of him. Guys, I'm going to go to our embargo section now. Sorry, stay there. Oh, it's I not. Can only 